All right, welcome back to Mind Pump TV. We are moving you guys along through the MAPS Anabolic Program. This is the third day of the five-day uh, workout routine that we're setting up for you guys, the first five days of the MAPS Anabolic Program. This is day three. This is your second foundational day. So now we are back to your big gross motor movements, full body routine right here. Total different exercises than what you did last time. But again, make sure you pay attention to the order of operation here. So we ordered these exercises specifically for a reason. At the end of the video, Sal will explain all that to you. You'll notice all the compound lifts are first. We start with a priming movement and then we work our way down into the isolation exercises. But pay close attention to all the movements, the mechanics, as we break down the movement as uh, Paul goes through the exercises. And then make sure you stay until the end of the video when Sal wraps it all together for you guys. All right, so we're going to start your workout out with good mornings, uh, more as a primer than anything else. Now, you want the bar lower on the traps than you would with your barbell squat. You want a knee slightly bent but fixed, and you want to slide the hips back and bend at the hips as you lead with the chest going down. Now, you see we're starting with a really light weight with Paul. That's not because he can't do more weight. This exercise can be very challenging, and it can be very, it can be very compromising for the low back. So notice that he keeps a neutral spine, so a lot of focus on his hips sliding back, but also maintaining that good neutral spine, keeping those abdominals tight as he hinges back. Do not round at the lower back. Uh, We're not teaching that version of this movement. We want you to maintain that tight core and bend at the hips. I can't stress that enough, but if you do this right, this exercise will set you up for the next one, which is the barbell deadlift. All right, so we are on to my favorite move, the barbell deadlift. This is another king of all exercises. You want to you want to step close to the bar, hands outside your legs. You want to squat down and push through your feet and lift with the arms, hips forward. Arms stay straight though. Just keep your grip on the bar, arms straight. Yes. For those this is probably one of the more complex movements that we teach right up there with the barbell squat. So those of you that are looking for more coaching cues on this YouTube channel, we have more detailed points to watch and different angles. For those of you that may struggle with this exercise, perfect this form. A lot of stuff going on here. Make sure you keep your core tight the entire time. Do not compromise your low back with this exercise. This is one of those movements if you do it right, puts a ton of muscle on you. If you do it wrong, it'll hurt you in a hurry. Right. Coming up next, standing overhead barbell press. All right, we are into the overhead press. Notice he's in the front rack position, just like if you were to get into a front squat, he's going to rest that on the front of his chest. He squeezes his glutes and his abs to support that spine, and then he's going to press that barbell all the way over his head, and then he pulls his head through the window, I like to say. Now, through the window means shoulders come back, head comes forward, not looking down, so he's directly above his head, as he presses the bar up. When you come up to the top, keep everything tight and strong so that you don't injure yourself. Match the tempo you see in this video so it's nice and controlled on the way down, controlled but explosive on the way up. Notice that his wrist and his elbows are lined up too, so you, this is what will help you take this through full range of motion. Excellent. Coming up next, rear delt flies. All right, we're on to one of my favorite moves here, the rear delt fly. Also one of those exercises that a lot of people do wrong, Sal. That's right. When you get into position, you want good posture so that your chest is forward, nice neutral spine, tight core, and you want to bring the elbows and arms out away from each other so you're not doing a row. You're literally doing almost like a chest fly except backwards. Right. We have some extra videos on this inside the YouTube channel, so if you want more detail where I get into why you want to stay in a protracted position when you do this fly versus squeezing the shoulder blades together like a lot of people do, uh, you guys can refer to the links in there. But make sure you keep that neutral spine, his weight shifted back on his hips and heels, abs are tight, keeping that nice level back. Remember to mirror the tempo you see in this video with your workout. Right. Start with a lightweight controlled. Big mistake I see people do is grab a real heavy weight and then those bigger muscles take over. This is a very small muscle that we're targeting right here. Excellent. Coming up next, standing dumbbell shrugs. All right, Sal, we are now moving on to the dumbbell shrugs this time. So we're going to have a neutral grip when he grabs the dumbbells, and then he's going to shrug those shoulders up towards his ears. That's it. Now, you notice he has good posture. He's not rolling his shoulders forward, and he's also not doing these short, jerky motions that you see a lot of times in the gym when guys want to lift more weight than they should. Right. Grab a nice light weight that you can take through full range of motion. 
You want to come up to the top, emphasize the squeeze, let the shoulders drop all the way down to the bottom, reset, and repeat the rep. This tempo is perfect, Sal. Coming up next, dumbbell hammer curls. All right, now this exercise is similar to a regular curl, except it's with a neutral grip. We call these hammer curls. Now, the benefits of that, Sal, are what are we using the neutral grip instead of the traditional grip now? Keeping it neutral uh, places a little bit more emphasis on the brachialis muscle, which is underneath the bicep, although you are also working the bicep. Different grips, different muscle activation. Now, same tempo as when you did your barbell curls. You want good control, elbows relatively stationary at your sides, Curl the dumbbells all the way up. Let them go all the way down with good control. Coming up next is the dumbbell overhead tricep extension. All right, Sal, we're moving on to the triceps now. We have the overhead tricep extension. Notice Paul's going to grip the dumbbell with like a what I call a triangle grip. And then he's going to slowly decelerate all the way down, get that good full stretch on the tricep, and then extend all the way up. His elbows are locked in position. He's just bending at the elbows, and he's grabbing the bell of the dumbbell, we like to say, just the top of the dumbbell. You can get pretty heavy with this exercise, but please focus on your form. Form is crucial with single joint exercises. Also, I like that he's not using a bench that supports his low back. That forces him to activate his core and sit up with good posture. That's a common mistake I see as people slouching over like this or arching their low back to get it up. Good point, Adam. Coming up next, hanging leg raises. So this is an often messed up exercise. People just don't do this one, yeah, right? Yeah, it's really challenging. You know, we're going to have Paul bend his knees at first, even though I know he's strong enough to keep his legs straight. But just so we can put emphasis on them rotating that pelvic up as they rotate up. That's the important thing. At the top, he's tucking his tailbone so he gets a full contraction of the abs. And then he goes all the way down with good control for more repetitions. This is an ab builder. If you do this right, you're probably not going to be able to do very many repetitions. No, this is beautiful. And the, you notice, too, his form as he rolls all the way up, squeezing those abdominals, and then resisting it on the way down. It's not a speed thing. I see a lot of guys swing their legs when they do this movement. It should be nice and controlled. Exactly. Coming up next, the standing calf raise. And your workout wouldn't be complete without training the calves. That's right. Here we are doing a basic standing calf raise. Now, uh, this is a single leg version. You can do this with both legs. You can use a machine. We're demonstrating a very easy, versatile version. You want to balance on one leg. You can use the uh, one of your hands for support, and then the other hand can hold weight to add resistance. I love these, Sal. You know, you said they're easy, but they can actually be really challenging to do this with one leg. A lot of times, a lot of people can't even do this holding on to a dumbbell. So start with just your body weight first, and then if you need to progress, and then also work on that full range of motion. Notice that Paul comes all the way down, stands all the way up on his tippy toes. Yep. Focus on the squeeze and focus on the stretch. All right, guys. This is your second foundational workout of the week. Uh, remember, this is the first five days of MAPS Anabolic. This is a phase one workout, so the weights are heavy, the reps are low, the sets per exercise tend to be high. Let's go over some of the exercises. Now, the first movement you did was good mornings. You're only doing one set of 10 reps. The reason why I put there uh, is to prime the hips for the next movement, which is really the bread and butter of this particular workout, which is deadlifts. Now, with the deadlifts, you're doing four to six sets, one to four reps. Perfect your form, focus on strength in that movement. If you do these right, your deadlifts through this workout will go up considerably. In fact, I, I, it's easy for me to say that deadlifts probably go up the most in phase one MAPS anabolic type workout. The next exercise we did, you're standing over a head press, four to six sets, one to four reps. Then you're doing your rear flies just to balance out the shoulders. Um, that's two sets, six to eight reps. Barbell shrugs, two sets, six to eight reps. Hammer curls, two sets. And hanging leg raises, five sets. And calf raises, three sets. Reps, six to eight, eight to 12. Excuse me, eight to 20. And eight to 20. These foundational workouts are focused on central nervous adaptation and maximal strength. So the repetitions are low. Now, if you were to do these workouts for the next three weeks, we would probably transition you more to a MAPS anabolic phase two workout. Now, if you're interested in those workouts, you can go to mindpumpmedia.com and enroll yourself in MAPS Anabolic, and it's a full 12-week program. Now, we recommend that you tag your friends, or excuse me, send this video to your friends so that they can all follow along, because you can repeat this first five days for the next two weeks and get phenomenal results. 
Also, if you have questions, because I know you're going to have some, put in the comments. I'll try and check periodically so I can answer those questions. And also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. We post new, vid new videos like this all the time.